America's future will be determined by your dreams and your visions. Some of you will fly the fastest planes that have ever been built. Reach the highest altitude that man has ever gone to. Whether you serve in the skies above or on the ground below, each of you has stepped forward to defend your country. The American people support you, and they believe you truly do represent the best of America. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Arithmetic Reasoning for the AFOQT for our, all our uh, United States Army and United States Air Force officer candidates. All right. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into writing out the problem or whatever. I'm just going to just visualize it and just write it out pretty much. I'm not going to go into the whole question. I will put the question in front and in the back of this video so you can compare. But um, we're dealing with time. At 12 noon, we have two vessels. All right, so there are two boats on the water. And we will have boat one. I know that is my failed attempt at a sail. And we have boat two. All right. Now, at 12 noon, this is the start time. All right. Both of these boats are sailing towards each other. All right. And they just so happen to be Four hundred and fifty miles apart. Okay. So they travel towards each other at twenty two and twenty eight miles per hour, respectively. All right, so boat one, twenty two. And it could be either one. You can make this guy 22, you can make this guy 28. Doesn't matter. As long as you label 122, 128. So, uh, we want to know how many miles they're going to be apart at 8 o'clock. So, I will put finish time here. And you can put 8 o'clock, you can put 20, 100. If you want to use military time. I, I like using military time because it's simple. All right. And it is, but it's not. I mean, it, it, it doesn't matter either way because I could I could look at 12 and it's 2,800 hours at 8 p.m. And that still tells me that eight hours has elapsed. Or I could look at the 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. That's pretty easy. If it was 10 or 9, Eight was the start time, then that'd be different. But um, it's just, it just happened to work out. 20, 20 hundred or 8 p.m. Still eight hours has elapsed. All right, so what we need to do is we need to work out our, our distance, rate, and time uh, formulas to see how much this guy's moved and this guy's moved. So basically what happens is both of these miles per hour get multiplied by eight because distance equals R T. So distance equals rate times time. So uh, basically um, we take that, we take the 22 for this is B1, boat 1, and we'll call this B2, boat 2. Alright, so 22 times 8 196 uh, hold on. Moving a little bit too fast. That happens. Slow down, Kino. Alright, 8 times 2, 16. 16. 176. 
So boat one has moved in after eight hours, 176 miles. All right, boat two, 28 times eight hours. Let's see how much this guy moved. Uh, 64, 22. Let me just look at that again because I moved too fast before and I just want to check myself up. So this guy has moved in 224 miles. Alright. So this guy moves in 100 and, and um 176 miles. This guy moves in 224 miles after eight hours. Okay. If we combine these two distances, we can subtract them from 450 and then we can come up with how far they are apart. This is the unknown. We want to know how far are these guys apart. So we take 224, 176, just basic addition, 10. These guys moved in 400. So if they started out at where are we at? Where did I put it to? 450 miles apart. Then there is 50 miles in between the boats. And our answer is D. They are 50 miles apart. Alright, so it wasn't really too bad. Just you got to kind of plan, lay stuff out and everything. And that's pretty much as fast as you could do it the way I did it. I would, I would do it faster because I had some explaining to do. But in my head, I would just start out by just laying it out, okay, 12, 8 o'clock, um, these guys are 450 miles apart, I diagram that, boat one, boat two, this guy's moving that direction at 22 miles an hour, this guy's moving in this direction at 28 miles per hour, um, eight hours elapses, so this boat one moves at 176 miles, this boat moves at 224 miles after eight hours of travel, all right, because 22 miles per hour times 8 hours is 176. 28 miles per hour times 8 is 224. And we just multiply the movement of both ships. Alright. We subtract that. Which we did here. Which was 400 is what we came in for. Plus 6. 0. 10. Carry to 1. 10. Carry to 1. 1. 2. 3. 400. 400 miles. And we subtract that from our original distance that the two boats were apart. And then we come up with 50 miles, which is answer D. All right. So, guys, keep on studying hard. If you guys need need it, I offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring um, via Skype. You'll see it in the credits at the back of this video. And um, I thank you guys. Continue to study hard and kick butt on the test. And if you need assistance kicking butt on the test, that's where I come in. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.